Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part we took on uh we took on uh the Team Galactic Grown eventually, but we also battled with Sam again in a rival battle. And then we got the secret potion from Cynthia and we cured the uh the um headaches of the Psyducks that were blocking out 210, 210. So um let's see here, I'm gonna I don't think I have many repels left, yeah. Why did I do actually cool? I use some. I'll use a couple of repels actually right here because I don't want to run into a Pokemon. Which I always have the chance to run into a Pokemon because depending on the level and stuff. But I think I'll repel all Pokemon because Inferno is level 29, so it'll repel levels 28 and up below. I don't think there's any Pokemon that are level 28 in this grass, so that's good. I could be wrong though. Let's take on this Ninja Boy though. I am one of the um. Of, I am one of the Ninja Trio. Being discovered means I must battle. Okay, in that battle, uh, Inferno grew level 30, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Everyone's level 30 or 31, except for, like, Beck. And, of course, Defog Lady. So I'll keep Inferno up front, actually. Let me see, here's, a, here's another Ninja Boy right here. I'm one of the Ninja Trio. Being discovered means I must battle. You said that, the last guy said that. The last Ninja Boy did said that. In that battle, Rose learns, or tried to learn Sweet Scent, but I skipped out on it. And Rose also grew level 31. Um, let me put Karen up front, I guess. So, yeah. Um, right here's an item. It's a potion, I think. Some sort of potion, <laughs> yeah. I was kind of right. Hyper Potion, cool. Now, let me see. Do I have Hyper Potion? Is that my first Hyper Potion I picked up so far? I think it is. So, I'm going to move it to the front, actually. Oh, here's a Max Potion, too. So, let me... Put the max potion right here. And the hyper potion can go right here. Yeah. Just in order of like how much you can restore it. Um, and then let's move the revives. Let's move it right here. Okay, cool. I think there's hidden items in here, but I think there is. Okay, here's another ninja boy right here, so let's battle him. I'm one of the ninja trio. Being discovered means, uh, means I must battle. Before, but, but how did you discover me? I don't. Don't tell me you're a ninja too. Okay, so can you use a dowsing machine? On some of these spots and help you find items and stuff, but I'll just skip out on that because I don't prefer to do that. Let me pin the repel on real quick. So, I think that's really it. Yeah, I think I covered everything else. So, we can continue on. And there's an item over it to the right. Yeah, there is. I think it's an Ultra Ball. Yeah, it's an Ultra Ball. That's right. Cool. I put off. Um, let me see if I can just ah. What was I gonna say? Was I gonna try to walk out of this grass? There we go. And not run into any more Pokemon. So at this point, it's all um foggy and stuff. So you talk to this fighter, Black Belt dude. If I could use a hidden move, Defog, uh, I I can clear up this weather. Up the weather, Defog, break Pokemon, flap their wings, step away with the fog away. Well, that's what I have. I have a Pokemon that can that has Defog. And nose defog, I should say. And let's just lighten up the. 
the place. Okay, now what do you say? If I could, yeah, he says the same thing though. If I could use the hidden move defog, I would equip the weather. Defog, bird Pokemon flop their wings to f blow the fog away. Yeah, but the fog is already gone. Oh, here's another ninja boy. Let's battle him. Why not? I just startled you. What? What? While you're still struggling to recover, I'm already, I'm already the beat. I'll already be the winner. Okay, what have you say? In, the, in that last battle, uh, Karen grew to level 31 and, and tried to win Taunt, but I just wanted to skip out on that move because I don't want Karen to win Taunt, honestly. So if you cut down this tree, this is like a way to avoid the tall grass. Um, yes, but I think there's an item right here. No, there's not, of course. Okay, I was wrong. So I think this person, ha this a shrine has a Grodel, so that's pretty cool. Let me check my Pokemon though. Everyone's level 31 except for, of course, Defog Lady and Beck. Oh, Inferno's not level 31, so it's just Inferno. Because I'm pretty sure this Ace Trainer like, has a Grodel, which is pretty cool. But um, I'm like probably like 80% sure of that. So let's see. We'll see if I'm right or not. As an Ace Trainer, I have to take battles uh, in stride. I need to stay cool and calm whether I win or lose. Yeah, that Ace Trainer did have a um, Grodel, which is a bit cool. So I'm gonna use a Super Potion on Inferno. And that's not full health, but that's okay. Let's use a Potion on Karen. Yeah. Um, I think this Trainer, this double battle that Ace Trainer is, I think it has like a Gyarados and a Raichu, which is really hard to beat. So, um,. Gyarados and Red Shell. Switch to Rose and Rose and well, if I choose Inferno, then um the Gyarados might have a water move. I think that's my best bet though, because the Red Shell probably knows like Thunder Shock or Thunderbolt on you know it could hurt Karen or Jetta. So I'll just do Rose and um Inferno then. I'm pretty sure they have a Red Shell and a Gyarados, but we'll see. I know it's a double battle, of course though. Uh, Jen, watch this. I'm going to use everything you've taught me. Here comes a trainer, Zach. Are you, you ready? Let's do this. Okay, in the last battle, Inferno grew to level 31, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep Inferno the front though, but I'm gonna use another potion on Inferno. And that battle wasn't too hard. I just uh, used a couple of grass nuts and a fire blast and then a flame wheel, so that really did not that well. It wasn't that hard, you know. So I was expecting it to be a lot worse than that, but that's okay. Let's. I think this train up here has like a bug type Pokemon, like a moth in or something. He's another. He's an Ace Trainer though, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's another Pokemon. Maybe it's a Pokemon trainer up ahead. I don't know. You seem to have a lot of confidence. Uh, let's see if it's justified.
Okay, so after that battle, we can go over here. I meant to press my I meant to press Y, not X. Um, I'll keep in front of the front for another ninja boy battle. A ninja can use all sorts of cool techniques. In that last battle, uh, Inferno grew to level 32, so let me actually switch in my Pokemon. So, yeah, let's switch to Jetta, which doesn't have much experience, uh, much time to shine in this video at all. I think this is either um, TM30 Shadow Ball or a Smoke Ball. I could, uh, maybe a Smoke Ball is still on this route still. But here's TM30 Shadow Ball. It's a really good ghost type move. Um, I don't know if I'm going to teach it anymore Pokemon. I'm still thinking about it because I think Karen and uh, Rose can learn it. But I don't know if I want to teach it to them exactly. So I have to, st I have to just think about it some more. I'm going to get off my bike for a second and just uh, battle um, this f this uh, Black Bolt dude. He'll probably have fighting type Pokemon. But I want, have to je I want Jedi to have some time to shine in this video too. These buff, phys the these buff Psyche. This buff Psyche isn't just for the show. Okay, so uh, Jetta was a little bit struggling there for a second, but that's okay. Let's take on this ninja boy and hopefully have better luck in this battle. Uh, we ninjas appear where you least expect us. Okay. Boy, Jed, I fainted in that last battle. Here's a smoke ball, though. If you, if a Pokemon is holding it, it can always run from battle as long as it's um, as long as it's holding the items. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. I'll put Karen up front because I don't know what this. I didn't, I didn't mean hit fly. I'm gonna put Karen up front because I don't know what this H trainer exactly has. So we'll have to see. I can always switch out, I guess. So you know. If, I'll teach you about the ch charms of bird Pokemon. Okay, you're, you're, you see this? Your uh, out of battle sprite looks like an ace trainer, but you're actually a bird keeper. Jeez. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. I really appreciate getting tricked. <laughs> here's a veteran guy. So, um, his out of battle sprite looks like he's just like an elder dude, but he's actually a veteran. Me lose to someone so young? I, uh, I just, I dare say not. Okay, so up here's some berries to pick, so we'll do that. These are citrus berries right here, so that's good. Or a citrus berry. I don't, I think it's a, I don't remember the name of the chesto berry. Yes, chesto berry, okay, cool. Um, wiki, I think the next one's wiki berry, if I were to guess. 
Yeah, Wiki Berry. And finally, um, Agave Berry or something like that. I'm going to guess. Agave Berry. So it's 4 for 4. Nice. <laughs> awesome. It's pretty cool. Uh, we can go down these steps now and uh, up these stairs. And if you read the sign from the front, uh, Cel Celestic Town is just that way to the um, left, I guess. And we're in Celestic Town now. Um. But I'm going to end the part right here, so this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part. In the next part, we'll take on Celestic Town, uh, hopefully find uh, Cynthia's grandmother, give her the old charm, uh, do stuff around here, I guess. And there's a route west of um, Celestic Town, too, and we might cover that, too. So yeah, this has been Dranko again. I want to thank you for watching again, goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide.